Good morning, the faith I live by February 2nd, his majesty and greatness. First Chronicles 29, 11, thine, O Lord, is the greatness and the power and the glory and the victory and the majesty for all that is in the heaven and the earth is thine. Thine is the kingdom, O Lord, and thou art exalted as head above all. God is our father who loves and cares for us as his children. He is also the great king of the universe. God cannot be compared with the things his hands have made. These are mere earthly things. People talk about the universe and worshiping nature. Worship the one who created the universe, right? Suffering under the curse of God because of the sins of man. The father cannot be described by the things of earth. The father is all the fullness of the Godhead bodily and is invisible to mortal sight. We must not attempt to lift with presumptuous hand the curtain behind which he veils his majesty. The apostle exclaims, how unsearchable are his judgments and his ways past finding out, Romans 11, 33. It is a proof of his mercy that there is the hiding of his power, that he is enshrouded in the awful clouds of mystery and obscurity. For to lift the curtain that conceals the divine presence is death. No mortal mind can penetrate the secrecy in which the mighty one dwells and works. We can comprehend no more of his dealings with us and the motives that actuate him than he sees fit to reveal. He orders everything in righteousness and we are not to be dissatisfied and distrustful, but to bow in reverent submission. He will reveal to us as much of his purpose purposes as it is for our good to know. And beyond that, we must trust the hand that is omnipotent, the heart that is full of love. Jehovah is the fountain of all wisdom, of all truth, of all knowledge. Men, man can now only linger upon the borders of that vast expanse and let imagination take its flight. Finite man cannot fathom the deep things of God. True reverence for God is inspired by a sense of his infinite greatness and a realization of his presence. With this sense of the unseen, every heart should be deeply impressed. I hope you have a great day. Live in faith.